solid collaboration we achieve solid collaboration using a concept called as request dispatcher before i show you an example i am going to talk about two important things that uh, we generally do as part of solid collaboration one is include and another is forward including the response and forwarding the request these are the two important methods that we use as part of a request dispatcher now we are going to see an example where request dispatcher is useful for us there itself you will understand what is solid collaboration and how to achieve it look at a situation where you are trying to log into google account so the moment we say www.gmail.com a page is downloaded in our local memory and shown on the browser just like the way that you are seeing here i tried my i tried logging to google by providing the username and here i need to provide the password okay let us imagine that what if i provide the password wrongly if i have given a wrong password and if i say next okay then i'll be seeing a screen like this what does it mean of course I, anybody can understand that i have written password incorrectly but if you clearly observe the page that i got here is very much similar to the page that i that that was there earlier the only additional thing is that there is some red color text and there is a uh, in the red color text i can see password is wrongly typed hint is shown in red color and the box is highlighted in red color but this is the same page the exactly same page if it is exactly the same page then the moment i started loading www.gmail.com itself why didn't i why didn't i see red color text and hint the moment i have provided only wrong password it has to show me what a wonder it is the same page is getting loaded but this time when the same page is getting loaded this time there is some change in color and some hint text is displayed these wonderful things we can do using a request dispatcher very simple here in case this is your actual login page let us imagine this page name is login page i repeat this page name is login page it doesn't matter to develop such a page we can use so many application server side programming languages like jsp solids php you can do anything and of course it's a simple form you can download uh, develop it using html form itself without using any application logic also you can download it uh, you can develop it using simple html now the moment you have provided password there there should be an internal class to check whether your password is correct or not that that class is called as a solid class in case if you are writing a python there will be a python program that program will check whether your password is correct or not if password is correct no wonders okay you will be taken to the another page called as a welcome page you will get a welcome page if password is incorrect it is not a good thing to tell password is incorrect please again go to please again open the browser type www.gmail.com that was that kind of hints you cannot show you need to load the same page it means that you need to include the response what is that one you need to include the response this is the response that we got when we type www.gmail.com the same response has to be included in case if your password is wrong when password is wrong it means that we are asking user to provide password one more time we cannot simply show the page saying that sorry your password is wrong you cannot say that you need to tell that one you need to tell that password is wrong at the same time you need to show this document again because that user has to type the password re enter the password again for that purpose you need you don't have to create a, another page a new page which is connecting again to the database no no the same page has to be loaded like this the same page it means that you are here you are including the response the previous response you are including in the same page additionally you have shown some hint pay a hint text that is in red color wrong password try again this kind of hints you have shown plus you have loaded you have included the response in case here if i have provided password correctly again the same servlet program checks whether my password is correct or not that servlet program simply includes my response the previous response that, that means this page response if password is incorrect what if pass password is correct then it it has to request another servlet call as welcome servlet and should show me welcome message once after logging successfully what will be displayed the same page has to be displayed inbox compose sent items that that view that interface page has to be displayed who is doing this activity a servlet program is doing this activity with the help of whom request dispatcher what this entire topic is called as solid collaboration it means that 
If you wanted to include the previous response that is provided by this servlet, you please integrate it. And if you want to forward to another request, you forward it to whatever you want, either including or forwarding based on the conditioning you do whatever you want. This topic is called a solid collaboration. We achieve solid collaboration using request dispatcher. What are the two important things in request dispatcher? Including the response, forwarding the request. Two things. That's all. Now practically we are going to see, we are going to write a program, the same, the more or less the same program, providing the username and password. We'll check it out. Anyhow, we are not, uh, we haven't known so far the JDBC connection, so no passwords are really stored in a database table, but inside the program itself, uh, I'll give the password as some servlet, some name. I'll try to test with that name. But in reality, the passwords are stored in database table and they're extracted from the database table and then checked with the value that is provided by the user. All right, now, this is what we are going to see now. So what, I, what I'm trying to do is that in, uh, to explain you clearly about our request dispatcher, I'm going to write one uh, HTML file, the request dispatcher HTML file where username and password will be there. And there is a servlet program called as validate servlet program. Of course, the name inside my program may be different, but just imagine that there is one servlet program which collects these two parameters, name and password, and checks the password with the existing password in the servlet program. Okay, in the application server, there is one servlet pro uh, pa password is given. That password, I'll be testing with the password that is provided by the user. In case if both are same, then I'll forward my request to welcome servlet page so that this page will be shown. Welcome, hi user, welcome, happy to see you. That kind of messages will be shown. Otherwise, in case if password is incorrect, then I'll be redirecting to the same HTML file. Okay, it means that I need to include this file, HTML file, including the response. If you want it, you can include the response, you can include the file, a static file directly because HTML file is directly, uh, it's a static file, you can directly include it. Okay, include HTML file. This file is included. Additionally, if you wanted to show some message on the top, you can show. Okay, so not only the page. Okay, uh, so before I print the content of this page, what I what I do is that using print writer, I'll write some line. Sorry, username or password error. That means it means that you have wrongly entered the password. Please try again. Whatever the line that you wanted to write, you please write it, and then you include this uh, HTML file. So the same page will be appeared here, where again you need to provide the password again. Okay, you'll reattempt. When you reattempt again, the request will be going to validate servlet. Again, the va va validation will check whether you have given the password correctly or not. In case if you have given password correctly, you will go like this. Otherwise, the same page will be loaded again and again till you give the password correct. Okay. In reality, you can load this page only three times. Okay. If any user attempting to give password more than three times, you can kill the session. You can simply uh, kill the session or deactivate that account for 24 hours. According to the application rules, you can do whatever you want. I hope you got the point. So what I'm, uh, how many programs will be there? One is HTML program. It's a very simple program with forms, name and password. And another program is servlet program, which checks the condition. That means password is correct or not. If password is correct, then uh, no additional programs. And here it's a welcome servlet I have written. Otherwise, welcome HTML also can also be written. You will be redirected here. So to redirect and to show welcome user, a, a separate solid program is written. A welcome hello world sir, similar to hello world solid, a simple solid program is written. So here you don't have to write any other program in case if password is not correct and uh, you will be redirected to a page where you are including the uh, HTML file. Okay. And by saying sorry, password is incorrect. Okay. For, to do this additional program need not to be written. Okay. Because you are including our existing file. So no, this is not getting printed from a separate file. I hope you got the point right now before I get into the program uh, I need to create an object for a request dispatcher to get the object for a request dispatcher I need to use this interface I mean now uh, we uh, inside whenever you have imported import java dot java x dot solid in that package you will be having an interface related to request dispatcher using that in inbuilt feature we can directly create an object for the request dispatcher request dispatcher rd is the object name equals to request dot request is the object that you have used for http http solid request it's one of the arguments in your program using that object instance we'll call a method called as get request dispatcher okay 
get request dispatcher this servlet program is none other than like validate so in our previous case what are the name that you have given validate servlet in this case you need to give it as validate servlet once the request dispatcher checks i mean this servlet program is loaded automatically into the memory and executed either to forward forward either to execute forward or to include for this purpose to execute one of these two functions this servlet program has to be executed okay because we are doing a conditioning there here the password checking will be done based on password checking whether you are including already existing uh, login page or you are forwarding to a welcome page it depends upon the conditioning okay if else so anyhow to show you how forward is used to the same object instance is used here rd dot forward request response of the objects that are taken into the account of your solid class in the same way rd dot include the same request and response okay you can include them you can include them you can forward them and this is basically a syntax you will properly understand the moment i am showing you the program now let's execute the program and here are the programs this is a simple html file in an html file there is just username and password field okay when username and password field after providing username and password upon pressing the submit button you will be redirected to demo project inside demo project a request dispatcher demo is our class name just like our validate was the class name in our example here the class name is request dispatcher demo is a class name so this is the servlet name actually which checks your password is correct or not okay so i'll show you the code of our request dispatcher demo as well so it's a simple form there's nothing to discuss about this html file here is the request dispatcher demo class file this is what exactly doing our job it is validating our password so how it is, how it does it's a quite routine servlet program all our routine statements up to here and here you are getting a request from the username from your from your html form whatever the name that you have given that username will be stored in a variable called as n and password will be stored in a variable called as p now i need to test whether p is equal to the password that is stored in the database since we are not establishing any database connection so what i do is that i am testing the password with servlet so it means that the actual correct password is servlet if user provides servlet as password then user will be redirected to welcome page otherwise user will be uh, seeing the same login page again by saying by showing a hint password incorrect now before i use uh, forward or include method i need to create method an object not the object that means a request dispatcher a request dispatcher is created here okay so rd is a name that is given it is just as in the way that i have shown you in the slide rd is the object that is created for the uh, for a request dispatcher object using request object we need to do that call a method get a request dispatcher okay so provide the resource okay so this is a resource that i wanted to execute because in case if my password is equivalent to the servlet it means that whatever the password that is given by the user is same in such case what is the resource that you want what is the resource i wanted to display the welcome page so my welcome page name of the welcome page is request disp welcome this is the name that i have given so in your case you have you could have given any any name to the welcome page so that name that resource name that you need to provide here okay all right now in the same way uh, uh, since you are going to do everything in demo project you can skip writing demo project you can directly give the file name request this welcome okay in other words if you are outside of demo project then you need to include this demo project in in the url statement otherwise you need not to now so what should i do do i need to include or forward if it is correct password is correct then i need to forward forward the request and response this request and response or the objects that we have already taken into the account this request and response the moment we are creating or initiating this class request dispatcher okay uh, there we have taken two arguments request and response the same request and response are used as in the forward method in the same way in case if password is incorrect then you will then the control uh, control will be shifted to else block in else block uh, there is a statement sorry username or password error not only saying the statement i am also including i i need to include the html file the response of uh, html file the name of the html file is request dispatcher dot html this file i need to include it this is not, none other than the login page login page whatever the login page is there the name of the login page is given as request dispatcher dot html the same page will be loaded 
before this page is loaded i i'll be i would like to print saying that sorry username or password error and then i'll load this page so when this page is loaded again the username uh, username and password has to be entered by the user and uh, the user has to submit the details and to include it object dot include is a name include is a function where you need to give two arguments the same set of arguments whatever you have given for the forward request and response you are including whenever password is incorrect you are forwarding whenever the password is correct if password is incorrect then the same html login page has to be loaded that's why you are including all right okay now let's see the execution all these files whatever i have shown you i've already made it available in um, apache netbeans this is html form that i've shown you username and password and uh, request the request will be given to a server program request dispatcher demo and this is the request dispatcher demo.java file and i've already built this project also i mean all these files whatever i've shown you just now or i made it readily available in order to execute to show you execution directly i made it readily available the same names were given no confusion at all okay so this is the place where i'm checking the password t dot equals is the inbuilt function in java to check the strings both the strings are same or not equals is the function upon testing I'll either be using forward method or include method based on the password that is provided by the user. Simple program, right? Now I'll show you the welcome program in case uh, if user user's password is correct, then my request will be redirected to welcome page. So I'll show you the welcome page. So let config welcome page. Okay, request dispatcher welcome page. It is a servlet program I have written, but not required. You can write a simple HTML file and you can show the welcome page okay and in case if you have to show some application logic then you need to write solid program and here i'm showing the uh, name of the user i'm passing a name from that solid to the solid so in case username is provided as hyderabad then welcome hyderabad username is provided as satish welcome satish so these things would be printed in the welcome page all right now let's execute the program dispatcher.html so i'll just execute the program just focus the execution a browser will be open now saying me to enter name and password i'll enter some name okay let me enter my name and password i'm giving wrong password i'm giving one two three one two three is not correct password i've shown you in the program as per the program the correct password is solid so i've provided here one two three as password so password is incorrect what should happen when password is incorrect uh, anyhow upon pressing that login button where will i be redirecting to a valid program where the password will be tested. One two three is not equivalent to servlet, so I I will be including the same file again. The same uh, request dispatcher HTML file will be loaded. That means the same login page will be loading by saying a alert. Sorry, the password is incorrect. Okay, let me see whether the thing is happening or not. Yes, happened. I hope you can see. Okay, so sorry, username or password is a text that we have printed using print writer class, and then we have loaded the same page what exactly the page that you have shown here the same page is loaded here and here i'll be again trying my username and password and logging so in case if password is correct then i'll be redirecting to welcome page okay so let me test so username this time i'm giving the right password okay welcome satish the correct password is given upon giving the correct password i, I got redirected to a page called as welcome solid Within that welcome solid, I have written the welcome username. Since the username is given as my name, so it is showing me as welcome. That's it. This is what the request dispatcher is. I hope this is very much useful in case you are developing a mini project or a web application, a small web application. Because without such kind of thing, I am pretty much sure that you can't have a login page. If you are having a login page, definitely there will be a username and password. And if there exists a password field, at some time users will be typing a wrong password. At that time, you need to load the same page. How would you do that? If you do not know this concept, impossible. Only request dispatcher can do that. We have learned a great concept which really helps for us. It is possible for us to host and upload many demanding courses on this YouTube channel. Only if you support us by subscribing. Please subscribe. Switch on the notification bell, stay connected and enjoy learning.